so the string to be copied is test vest i have changed the string from test to test vest will now save my changes and try to test this rule out there you go it has been copied hello welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so today in this video we will see how we can copy one string to another using recursion which is an interview question so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so first things first i need to define some parameters right i would typically need at least two parameter so first one is gonna be for storing the copied string okay and this has to be number integer and array and the second one is gonna be for keeping track of the current position in the string which i am going to name as current index cool this has to be number integer two okay now i'll initialize some of the local variables this one is going to hold my original string okay original string which is going to be let's say test okay i'll just wrap it inside code function to convert each of its character into its unicode codes it is gonna split the string into an array of unicode codes and need to declare one more variable to increment the position by one in each call to which i have to set the default value as it is going to be null in the first iteration so it is going to return the default value if current index is null or empty okay ri current index and one one is nothing but the default value okay and need to initialize another local variable to extract the character at the given index okay so this is the local variable which is holding my original string right and with the help of this current index okay this local index i will be extracting the character okay local original string local index let's say if the value of local index is 1 it is gonna extract the character which is sitting at first position okay which is nothing but t cool so i'll copy every character from t to t okay from this t to this t and in each call i'm gonna increase the index by 1 until the value of current index is greater than the length of the original string and once the current index exceeds the length of the original string it is gonna return the copied string wherein i'm storing the character by character based on the index now i'm gonna save my changes and i'm going to call this function inside of itself okay the changes have already been saved now i'm gonna call this rule as copy string you can see here right i have two parameters copied string and the current index these are the ones right with the help of append function i am going to append the value okay as i said before i will be concatenating the current character of the original string which is this to this copied string right so here so append takes two parameters array and value array is going to be ri copied string wherein i will be storing the character by character okay and then comes value which is local character as this is the variable which is holding the extracted value right extracted character the value would be local character cool now comes current index which should be incremented in each call okay local index plus one plus one so this function will continue to copy the character until it reaches the end of the original string okay and once it reaches the end of original string we will have to terminate it right so we will be handling that using a condition okay if local index is greater than the count of the original string right local original string this is the string which needs to be copied right so when local index is greater than the count of this then just return me whatever has been stored in ri copied string okay else keep calling it 
until local index equals the length of the original string. And here this is something which needs to be handled as well because when the value of local index becomes 5, it is going to throw us an error saying that invalid index because it is exceeding the length of the original string, right? Which is 4. And here when the value of local index becomes 5, it is definitely going to throw you an error. So here we will have to use the same condition, okay? If I'll, I have just copied it. If local index is greater than count of original string, then just return empty string else. Do this. Okay. Let me quickly format the code and save my changes. Now, if I try to test this rule out and see what it returns, it is returning me a list of number, which is nothing but the Unicode codes. Okay. I will just have to wrap this inside char function to convert these unicode codes into characters okay let me just test this rule out again okay i will have to save my changes first test rule there you go i will use joinery function to concat the elements into a single string okay save changes test rule it's working as expected right all right so now let's take a moment to analyze what we have done up to this point okay so see here we have this local variable which is holding the original string okay then we have this index which is getting incremented in each call okay and we have defined the default value in the first call it is going to be null so it is going to use one as its default value okay and then we have this local character which is extracting the character from this original string based on the index okay and then we have defined the base condition so once local index becomes greater than the length of the original string it is gonna terminate this call and turn me ri copied string which is storing the result obtained from the recursive call okay i have wrapped it inside char function because this ri copied string returns the unicode code as we have broken down this string right by converting each character of this string into its unicode code now i have to convert it back to its character so with the help of char function i'm converting it back to characters okay and then using joinery function to concat all the elements into a single string so now in the first iteration the value of local index would be 1 as ri current index is null so it is going to use 1 as its default value okay it's 1 it comes here and checks if the value of local index is greater than the count of original string which is not it executes the else statement wherein i am appending the current character of the original string to this parameter copied string okay so here the value of local index is 1 it is going to extract the character which is sitting at position 1 which is t okay so t has been stored in this local character now i am using append function to append that character to this ri copied string okay and here i am incrementing the local index again by 1 now the value of local index becomes 2 so the value of local index is not greater than the count of original string the condition becomes false again and it executes the else statement which is this so in the second iteration the value of local character is e as the value of local index is 2 it is going to extract t and store that in local character i am appending the value of local character to this ri copied string so the current value of ri copied string is t and e and the current value of current index is 2 as this is the second iteration now i am incrementing the index again by 1 which now becomes 3 okay so in here the local character is gonna hold s this time right for the third iteration it is gonna hold s the condition here again becomes false and it, it is gonna execute the else part which is this now appending s to this ri copied string s has been appended and increment local index again by 1 which becomes 4 now okay this is my fourth iteration condition again becomes false and this local character is gonna hold t this time the value of local index is 4 
so t is sitting at fourth position right so this is going to hold t this time and appending t to ri copied string t has been appended and the value of current index gets incremented by 1 again which becomes 5 now okay this is my fifth iteration here if local index which is 5 okay is greater than the count of original string count of original string is 4 yes it is it is gonna return me empty string so this time local character is holding no value and here also condition becomes true which is going to terminate this recursion okay so local index 5 is greater than the count of yes then just return me whatever has been obtained from this recursive call cool so that's how it is working let me just change this to test west okay i will try to test this now get rid of this values okay i will have to save my changes test rule test west so that's pretty much for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video cheers bye bye